the Minnesota Vikings are at home for Thursday night football this week. Last chance to see Big Ben play in person, apparently. Maybe saying he is checking out at the end of 2021 is a good thing for his game. Here's the pass down the field, and it's Johnson wide open for the touchdown. Roethlisberger had one of his better games last week. Two TDs, no picks, healthy rating, and over 7.5 yards per attempt, so bonus. Roethlisberger waits, now throws, and he's across for the touchdown. Why not keep it going? Facing a Vikes defense that got diced up by Jared Goff, gave up the game winner to him. First time the Lions celebrated a win all year. From the gun to the end zone, it is caught. Touchdown. And it wasn't that the Vikings pass rush wasn't effective. Sacked Goff three times. Goff under duress. Football is loose. Vikings have it. But Pittsburgh's O-line didn't allow Roethlisberger to face much heat. One sack, just three QB hits. Fire move. Runs over the tackler. Kirk Cousins usually gets that kind of protection. He hasn't been sacked all that much this year. Cousins faking the pitch, rolls out, probing, throws, and completes. But he was under duress quite a bit last week, and the Lions' pass rush isn't very ferocious. Three sacks allowed, Cousins hit eight times. Here they come. Contact football is loose. That's a live football, and it is recovered by Detroit. And that sets up T.J. Watt for another big game. Dude almost single-handedly won the game last week. Sack hat trick plus a cherry on top for good measure. They're on him, and the ball comes out. Despite the heat, Cousins still managed good yards, over 300. Good rating to go along with two TDs. Cousins looking, end zone, caught. He lost Adam Thielen early. We'll have to see if his ankle is okay for this game. And Mike Zimmer has to be wondering, boy, how much more can this team take in terms of the injuries? But that meant a lot of Justin Jefferson. And like the OG JJ, his game last week would get a D grade. For Dino Might, 11 receptions, over 180 yards, a score. Towards the end zone, it's Jefferson! Pittsburgh hasn't been overly tough on QBs when they don't get home, though. Season numbers against the pass are average. He's got protection, got all kinds of time. He throws, and Watkins has it! But when Watt gets it going, like last week, it's a different story. Lamar Jackson didn't do much of anything against them, including on the game-winning attempt. Game hinges on one play. Jackson flings it. Andrews can't get to it. Steelers didn't handle Jackson the runner great. And he's going to go right through that Pittsburgh defense. But they were fine against Baltimore's traditional backs. Here's Freeman, backed up, loss of three. Minnesota had to go without their cook. Alexander Madison filled in, 4.1 a run, 90 yards a TD. Madison, second stab, and he's in. Still a long ways to go for this season. Three-game win streak gets you back into the playoff convo. Who do you still have in it after the game? Who's out? Get that into the comments section. Here's what we've got.